When you change a vehicle's thrust angle, replace loaded struts, or even perform something as simple as a headlight or AC condenser replacement, you're not just changing how the car rides and drives anymore. You also could be affecting the advanced driver assistance systems, or ADOS, that rely on precise geometry and sensor alignment to function properly. Systems like Lane Keep Assist, Adaptive Cruise Control, and Automatic Emergency Braking all depend on accurate inputs from the cameras, radars, and things like steering angle sensors. Even small changes from routine mechanical repairs can throw them off. The challenge is many technicians still think of ADOS as strictly a collision problem, but that's not the case. More and more everyday mechanical work is directly tied to ADOS performance. And that's where the Launch Tech USA's three-in-one approach help takes the mystery out of calibration. By segmenting ADOS into three practical silos, radar, AVM, RCW, and glass have scalable, affordable ways to get started and do the job right, and to keep revenue in-house. Radar makes up about 95% of most common calibrations happening today, so you can start where it matters most and expand with AVM, RCW, and glass when you're ready. It's simple, it's powerful, and it puts ADOS calibration into the hands of every shop. Stick around because ADOS for mechanical repair and the smarter way to approach calibration with Launch Tech USA is the subject of this Around the Wheel. Before we look at how your repairs affect ADOS, let's review what these systems are actually depending on. Advanced driver assistance systems are not standalone operations. They're integrated into vehicle steering, suspension, braking, and even ride height. These systems include cameras, usually mounted on the windshield, used for lane keep assist, traffic sign recognition, and forward collision warning. Radar found behind bumpers and grills, used for adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation, braking, and warnings. Ultrasonic sensors, located in bumpers and used for parking assist. And steering angle sensors, accelerometers and yaw sensors. These tie directly into electronic stability control, lane centering, and traction control. Each of these sensors assumes the vehicle's steering geometry, suspension angles, and ride height are correct. When you adjust alignment angles, change ride height, or move one of these radars, cameras, or sensors, you've effectively shifted the aim of these components without touching the component themselves. Think about lane keep assist. The camera is looking down the road, but if the vehicle thrust angle changes without letting the camera know, the system can interpret the vehicle as drifting and can falsely correct the steering. This is not just annoying, it's unsafe. A lot of technicians assume ADOS is only the concern of glass installers or body shops. But the truth is, many of the common mechanical repairs you perform every day directly affect these systems. Even something as simple as routine undercar repairs. Anytime you replace things like control arms, steering components, or loaded struts, you're changing suspension geometry. Even if the vehicle is aligned afterwards, ADOS sensors that rely on precise geometry like cameras and radar may now be misaligned relative to the vehicle's thrust angle. And ride height is critical. Worn or broken springs, air suspension repairs, or even aftermarket lift or lowering kits all change the angle of the camera and radar sensors. A half inch difference in ride height can mean a radar sensor is aiming at the pavement instead of the car ahead. Even routine repairs like headlight or AC condenser replacements can warrant the need for an ADOS calibration. If the removal of the bumper cover causes the front radar module to have to be moved or removed, most service procedures will then call for a calibration to verify correct alignment and system operation when the repair is complete. The key point is this, you don't have to touch the sensors themselves to affect ADOS. Even if you change suspension geometry, ride height, or performed an alignment, or moved a sensor just to complete some other repair, you've changed the foundation these systems rely on. And that's why calibration is so critical. So why does all this matter? Because when ADOS is out of spec, it doesn't just mean an annoying light or a false warning. It can mean a system fails to respond in a critical situation. Modern safety features like automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, or lane keep assist are designed to react faster than a human can. But if a radar sensor is pointed three degrees off center after a suspension repair, the system may break too late or not at all. 
That puts the driver, their passengers, and everyone else on the road at risk. There's also liability. If a vehicle leaves your shop after a repair that requires ADOS calibration and it's not performed, you could be held responsible in the event of an accident. Attorneys and insurers are now looking closely at repair documentation and a missing calibration report is a major red flag. Imagine explaining to a customer, or worse, in court, why their vehicle's ADOS failed to perform as intended after you completed a repair that outlines in-service information the need for a forward-facing camera calibration, but yet you failed to do so. Beyond safety and liability, calibration also saves you from comebacks. A vehicle with an uncalibrated ADOS system after certain repairs can trigger warning lights, cause odd driving behavior, leaving the customer questioning the quality of your work. A proper calibration gives you a verifiable report that proves the job was done correctly. Once you recognize that your repair impacts ADOS, the next step is making sure that those systems are properly calibrated. That comes down to having the know-how and proper tooling to complete the task. That starts with consulting service information to figure out how the calibration needs to take place. Does the system you're working on require a static calibration, a dynamic calibration, or are there options for both? Static calibrations are performed in the shop using calibration targets and fixtures. These calibrations often have space and setting specifications that need to be kept in mind. Things like level surfaces, controlled lighting, and being able to accommodate exact distances and angles. Dynamic calibrations are performed on the road with a scan tool guiding the process. These present their own set of challenges because they require a vehicle to be driven at specific speeds and in conditions where the camera can clearly see lane markers and other key features. Things like heavy traffic congestion or snow covered roads can quickly derail a dynamic calibration session. Regardless of the calibration type required, calibration shouldn't be treated as an afterthought. They need to be part of the repair order, just like a road test or rechecking the torque on a customer's lug nuts before the vehicle is released. Mapping out your workflow is important. First, identify which repairs impact ADOS to begin with before work begins. Then inform the customer that a calibration will be part of the service. Next, perform the repair and complete the required calibration, whether it's static or dynamic. And then lastly, document with a calibration report for liability and customer confidence. Now let's take a look at the equipment that makes this all possible. LaunchTech USA's 3-in-1 is designed to simplify and streamline ADOS calibration by combining three of the most common radar tools into one compact lightweight kit. With this single setup, you can handle adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, lane change assist, and radar systems across a wide range of European, Asian, and domestic vehicles. The kit includes an ACC radar target, a corner reflector, and a Doppler simulator, all built into one frame. That means you don't have to juggle multiple bulky stands, setup is fast, transport is easy, and calibrations, they stay precise. LaunchTech USA also provides an alignment accessories that you need to do the job right. Things like a five-line laser reflector, plumb line, auxiliary mirror, L-bracket, and a 10-meter measuring tape. Paired with the Throttle 5 scan tool and its guided software, technicians get a step-by-step -step prompts and visual cues to walk them through the process and generate a calibration report for documentation. The result is a tool set that is scalable, accurate, and practical for everyday shop use. Whether you're calibrating after a suspension repair, replacing a radar module, or completing an alignment, the 3-in-1 gives you everything you need to restore ADAS functionality quickly and correctly. The bottom line is this, if your repair affects the alignment, ride height, or you have moved a radar module or camera, you've also affected ADAS. These systems depend on precise mechanical geometry to function properly. Skipping calibration doesn't just risk a warning light, it risks the safety of your customer, their family, and everyone else on the road. It also exposes your shop to unnecessary liability. A calibration report is your proof that the repair was completed correctly. Mechanical repair has evolved. ADOS calibration is no longer optional, it's part of the repair. Do it right, document it, and you'll protect your customer, your shop, and your reputation.
I'd like to thank the folks at LaunchTech USA for making this around the wheel possible. And until next time, thanks for watching.